are concerns that allowing city parks to stay open after dark is allowing these places of recreation to breed crime. This thought is boosted by problems at a small park called Ritz Park. It's on South Grand, or it's on Grand South of Arsenal. There is a proposal to close the park earlier because businesses and residents say there have been some various crime issues there. We bring in our Nathan Vickers on this. He's live at Ritz Park. Nathan, one community leader thinks this park is a perfect example of issues that are happening all across the city. That's right, and it's a very small park too. This is a, a little tiny space that actually used to be a movie theater back in the day. And businesses here on South Grand kind of see it as a community space. They had their tree lighting ceremony here uh, earlier in the season, and they're wanting people to feel uh, like they're safe here. And they say a curfew might help do that. For businesses on South Grand, Ritz Park is a gathering place. We want everyone to enjoy this space and feel welcome in this space and feel safe in this space. But Rachel Witt, the leader of the South Grand Community Improvement District, says they've been concerned about drug activity and other issues happening in the park at night. People didn't feel safe being in the park. That's why last week, Alderwoman Daniela Velazquez proposed an ordinance that would set a curfew at the park for 6 p.m. in the winter and 7 the rest of the year. Witt says that was done prematurely and is pushing for the bill's retraction. This is not the ordinance we want. These are not the times we want. But she says local businesses would like to see an earlier curfew than the city's current 10 p.m. time for nearly all municipal parks. You don't know who's in a park when it's dark out. Instead, she'd like to see park curfews citywide based on sunrise and sunset times, similar to St. Louis County parks. We need to be making sure we're helping people who need help. And by having a curfew, knowing where people could congregate, that they could be more visible to get the assistance. But at nearby Tower Grove Park, like if it's public property, there shouldn't be a curfew. Some people had mixed feelings about closing earlier. I understand the concern for safety, but also it's it's kind of lovely to have an outdoor space at nighttime as well. I don't think it's necessarily a way to keep everybody out effectively. It's a public space. Like, as, as long as people aren't getting into trouble, I don't really care what they're doing at what time. What says businesses here want to maintain safety long grand? We as a city need to do better and step up how we address mental health, especially with drug and alcohol addiction. And to her, addressing nighttime activity is a first step. Got to figure out what is that correct time that it's good for everyone, that's appropriate for everyone. Alderwoman Velazquez sent us back a statement saying that this idea was one of several proposed by businesses in the area. She wrote, we all love South Grand and the most important thing for me is ensuring that we both support, that we support both our small businesses and our community in a way where everyone feels safe and welcome. She says she's also open to adjusting the times on that curfew ordinance or in retracting that ordinance. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4.